Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Located near the city of Argos in Greece is a real archaeological mystery that many people have never heard of, and that is the Pyramid of Hellenicon. It is situated adjacent to a church on an ancient road that once led to Argos, 9 kilometers away from the city, close to the springs of the Erycinos River, and although the pyramid is known about, its origins remain a mystery and there is controversy about the date of the structure. Early excavations of the pyramid led experts to believe it dated back to the late 4th century BC, but new scientific dating methods now say it actually overlaps or even predates the construction of the more famous pyramids of Egypt. Optical thermoluminescence dating was undertaken on carefully selected samples, which many quote as being 2720 BC for the date of construction. This of course is 100 years before what archaeologists say is the construction date for the oldest pyramid of Egypt, the Step Pyramid of Djoser, and 170 years before the Great Pyramid. But the actual results of the seven samples that were taken from the masonry gave the age range of 2000 to 2500 BC, but there was one date of 3000 BC plus or minus 250 years. Whether it is older than the pyramids of Egypt, we cannot say for sure, but at the very least, the construction of the Pyramid of Hellenicon seems to overlap with the building of the Egyptian pyramids. The pyramid itself is made of large, unusually shaped, interlocking polygonal blocks of limestone, all of which are sourced locally. It isn't on the same scale as the Egyptian pyramids, far from it, and it measures just 7.03 by 9.07 meters, although Hugh Newman's video on the Megalithomania channel does state it is slightly larger. But it certainly has a pyramidal form, with external sides sloping at an angle of 60 degrees down to its rectangular base. As you can see, its top is missing today, and therefore it only stands at 3.5 meters high, with a large 3 meter high doorway to get inside. Due to the slope of the sides, it may have once been up to 30 meters in height. From the entrance on the south side, you enter a corridor that leads to an empty square room. There are no stone shelves on the cyclopean walls, but there are some small circles cut into the stone. The Pyramid of Hellenicon is a remnant of the mysterious pyramids of ancient Greece. There were apparently 16 pyramids spread over the country, most of which are now destroyed. But it is believed that the Pyramid of Hellenicon was the oldest. Although scientists have dated the structure, many disagree with the results, and a lot of sources will still say it is 4th century BC in origin, due to the age of the bulk of archaeological finds but there is more evidence for a more ancient date. Ceramics from the proto helladic period, which was between 2800 and 2500 BC, were discovered at the site in the foundations, which of course marries up with the thermoluminescence dating. Furthermore, archaeoastronomers have noted that the long entrance corridor that leads into the pyramid lines up precisely with the rise of Orion's belt between 2000 and 2400 BC. The Greek pyramids are of great interest, but throughout history, very little has been written about them. The Greek traveller Pausanias wrote about two of them in the 2nd century AD, one being 12 miles southwest of the Pyramid of Hellenicon, which he says was a common tomb for soldiers who died in a legendary struggle for the throne of Argos, and the other was the Tomb of Argives, who was killed in a battle around 669 BC. Neither of these pyramids survive today. Archaeologists say the surviving Pyramid of Hellenicon was actually a lookout tower that was used to survey the surrounding lands, which actually isn't a bad idea because you can see the entire plain of Argos from the location. Others say it was a fort or military base, used to control the nearby arterial roads. Maybe it was both. Whatever its use, I think it is clear that we are looking at a multi-phase site with a complex and diverse history that looks to have its origins in the 3rd millennium BC. Maybe there was an ancient settlement first of all, but evidence says the foundations were laid and the first phase of building was undertaken between 2000 and 2500 BC. 
Whatever it was used for at that time is unknown, but it was clearly reused, probably several times in the 2000 years that followed. Maybe it was a tomb, a guardhouse, a watchtower, a signal tower and a military outpost, a structure that was reused through time due to its strategic location. Still, many archaeologists say it cannot be as ancient as the science makes out, and they state that the masonry of the pyramid is clearly much later, an obvious classical style building in appearance. It appears that some people just don't want to accept that things keep on getting older. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.